Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. ReadFeed is an app that just graduated from Google Play's Early Access Beta program. Now read the post to learn about how they used the program to solicit feature requests, identify bugs, locate new and optimize existing target markets, as well as build a sizable reader community. This is a great article for fitness app developers. It outlines three recommendations towards building a more valuable fitness app experience with examples. And take a look. A style transfer is the technique used by some new phone and web apps to help you render your favorite picture in the style of a well-known work of art. This is a really cool post on our research blog about going a step further by combining many different styles to explore unique mixtures of well-known artists and create an entirely unique style. If you're into machine learning, it's a fun read. You can now treat Google Cloud Storage like a file system with our new PowerShell provider. It's included in the latest release of Cloud Tools for PowerShell and lets you use commands like CD, copy, or even cat to navigate and manipulate your data in cloud storage. More details are on the post. We now have support for Windows Server 2016 Data Center Edition, the latest version of Microsoft's server operating system on Google Compute Engine, which means you can launch instances with Google Compute Engine VM images with Microsoft Windows Server 2016 pre-installed. For the list of all versions we support and some getting started notes, check out the post. And that's your quick update about what's new and cool. Don't forget to subscribe and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this week's episode of The Developer Show. For some of our past episodes, click here or here.